Ik ben gemeen. Today, the topic is now. So good. We already talked about adjectives and we talked about adverbs and now we're talking about nouns. So if I can have your attention. Um, I must admit yesterday when I finished this uh, when I finished this uh, this lesson when I finished preparing this lesson I suddenly felt extremely dizzy and sick and I had to go home. So I don't know uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen after this class with all of you. Something wrong, something in the PowerPoint probably that makes you really sick. Um, okay, so today's topic is now. <coughs> I'd like to start with a video clip about um, Dan Quayle. Does anyone know Dan Quayle? No. <laughs> long time, long time ago, vice president. And, um, ladies and gentlemen, I don't seem to have your attention yet. And um, he was notorious for his stupid mistakes uh, along the lines of Sarah Payne. So here we go. Um, he apparently didn't know how to spell potato. <laughs> Throughout the history of presidential elections, certain inspiring moments have propelled candidates to victory. These are not those moments. It's a long road to the White House. Don't screw it up. to what I'm going to tell you. Here are some sentences. I'd like you to um, think about the question, are these correct? If not, correct them and explain. So it pairs. Look at these sentences and um, see if they're correct and if they need a correction. If they're incorrect, explain um, 
Why? Um, I'll give you three minutes to do this. Let's discuss the answers. Um, in addition to numerous traditional Christian themes, the series, this is about the Chronicles of Narnia, borrows characters and ideas from Greek and Roman mythology. This sentence is incorrect. Why? Proper nouns, the names of people, religions, uh, cities, any name that you give to anything um, should receive a capital letter. So mythology does not have a capital letter, um, but Christian does, and so do Greek and Roman. So names, which we call proper nouns, get a capital letter. And this is names not just of people, but also of religions, and of ideas, of cities, places, etc. Brands as well. The second one is also incorrect. Why? Um, potatoes are spelt wrong. Yeah, so this is the mistake that Dan Quayle made. The um, plural, of course, um, is spelled O-E-S, but the singular is spelled no. Um, if you want to know what the rules are, then um, uh, look at page 350. I forgot to add, uh, to underline Oreos, what you should never do, and this is a very common mistake, is this, Oreos, with the, um, Apostrophe, which we don't do, only for possessive, not for the plural. Yeah, we do that sometimes in Dutch, but not in English. Why is Oreo the capital? Because it's a brand. Oh. Yeah. And loaves, of course, um, the F changes to a V. So if you want to know the rules for the uh, spelling of nouns in the plural, then look at page 350 which gives you all the important spelling rules you need to know. Um, second one, athletics are not my favorite sports, but this athletic pants is great. This sentence is wrong. Um, athletics is not my favorite sport. You should remember that um, some nouns end in S, but they're actually singular. Economics, news, athletics, Mathematics, uh, what have you. So academics, so school subjects, um, uh, and sports, um, gymnastics as well. Um, these end in S, and they look like a plural, but they're actually singular. Yeah, so we say athlet athletics is um, my favorite sport. Then uh, some nouns, like pants, um, are singular in Dutch, broek, but in English they're plural because they consist of two parts. That's an important explanation you need to give on the exam. If, the, if, if on the exam you're asked uh, why is pants or glasses or trousers or scissors plural, you need to say because it consists of two parts. Yeah. So there's things which consist of two parts and these are plural. So pants, trousers, glasses, glasses, um, scissors, and um, other things as well. These athletic pants are great. You see, when athletics becomes an adjective, athletic pants, then the S goes away. I'm convinced the police are going to arrest the thieves because the team are working together so well. Correct to incorrect? <coughs> incorrect. Sorry? Incorrect. What's incorrect? The team is working. Yes. Um, this uh, sounds very strange to people because uh, this is not what we do in Dutch, but you have to say the police are going to rest these because um, certain nouns are what we call group nouns, and they describe groups of people. Um, these nouns, like the team, are either plural or singular. It depends on whether you see it as, look at it as a group of people, different people, or one thing. So if you say the team is working re together really well, then you mean um, 
Um, let me see the team as one individual thing. When you'd rather refer to people as individuals, all the people in the team in the in the team are working together really well, then you make it plural. The team are working together really well. However, police, the noun police is always plural. Not so in Dutch, the police is. But in English it's always plural. The police are. Yeah? So never say the police is. Um, so we can say things like, the BBC are working on a new series. Perfectly fine, even though it sounds strange to you. Uh, because then you see the BBC as a group of people working together on a new series. <coughs> if you say the BBC is, then you see the BBC as one thing, an institution. Yeah? That's important. That's what we call group nouns. They can, they can be plural or singular, depending on... Um, depending on whether you see it as one thing, individual thing, or a collection of individuals working together. So in that sentence, both are correct? In the, in the sentence, um, in this sentence with team, both are correct. You can say, because the team is, um, I would say, because the, when you say working together, that implies there's lots of people working together. So then I prefer are, but it's not wrong to say the team is working together so well. Yeah. To me, it sounds better to say the team are working together so well, because you're thinking of the team as different individuals. But indeed, with team, you can say the team is and the team are. Yeah. With police, you have to say the police are. Yeah? Can I give you an advice? Never lend a friend money because you'll lose your friend and your money. This one is not sure. No. Incorrect. Incorrect. We don't say an advice. We say, what do we say? Some advice. Why is that? Because advice, and I'll, um, I'll explain this in more detail. Advice is what we call um, an uncountable noun. A noun that cannot be counted. We cannot say one advice, two advices, three advices. Um, this is an uncountable noun. Advice is something that you can't count. And that's why we cannot say an, an advice. We have to say this advice or some advice. Furniture, on the other hand, is countable. Um, that's not right. Um, Furniture is also uncountable, uh, but we can use the, of course, with uncountable nouns. Yeah, so we cannot say one furniture or two furniture or three furnitures. We have to say two pieces of furniture or two chairs or um, what have you. Um, so with uncountable nouns, we cannot use a or an, but we can use the, and we prefer to use <coughs> some, this, or that. The butcher at half a kilo of meat for four euros is wrong. It should be half a kilo of meat. So un uncountable nouns, if you want to count them, because uh, meat, again, is uncountable, we don't say one meat, two meats, and three meats. We say some meat. So meat is uncountable. If we want to count meat, we say a kilo of meat. Um, if we want to count soap, which is also uncountable, we don't say one soap and three soaps. Uh, three soaps. Um, we say a bar of soap. We say a tube of pasta and a litre of milk. These kinds of nouns are all uncountable. Sorry, you have a question? No. Why do you say the furniture? No, not mine. Okay. <laughs> Um, so these nouns, and in the next slide I'll explain, uh, explain them a bit more, uh, these nouns cannot, cannot be made plural by adding S, because they're plural by itself. So we can't say furnitures, we can't say meats, and we can't say devices. Why do you say the police are and the furniture is? Um, because the police is um, a group of people, and that's not the case with the furniture. The furniture is just 
some a, a thing. But it's a group of things. Yes, but still with um, uh, you, do, you only do that with group nouns only refer to groups of people and not groups of things. Yeah, good question. Now. Um, so we don't see the furniture R because the furniture is not a group noun because it refers to um, a thing. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Any questions? No questions? Let's continue talking about countable and uncountable nouns. Here are um, six words. I'll give you one minute to decide whether these are countable or uncountable. I'd like you to do that on your own, so don't talk about it. Um, one minute to decide whether these are countable or uncountable. Okay. Let's look at the answers. Um, beer is uncountable. We can't count beer. We say, um, yes, you can. That's a good question. That's what people always say. You can say one beer or two beers. What you actually mean is a glass of beer, right? So one beer is actually colloquial. Colloquial means spoken language. Yeah? There's no official grammar. Um, because actually, when you say one beer, it depends on... Uh, the place where you ask it whether it's a bottle of beer or a glass of beer or even a mug of beer or a pint of beer. Um, uncountable and therefore, and this is also important to remember, this is not in the book but it's important for you to know because every year I, um, I find out people don't really know this even though uh, you should have had this at your secondary school. Um, we don't say many beer Um, we say much beer. We don't say few beer, we say little beer. Yeah. And a lot of? A lot of beer, yeah. If you want to be safe, if you want to be on the safe side, just say a lot of. Yeah. A lot of is always correct. So with uncountable nouns, we use much and little. Although beer is, although beer is maybe an exception. I was thinking about that, because you can also think of beer as kinds of beer. So people could say, we have a large collection um, of different beers. Yeah? Then there's different kinds of beer. The same with, we have a, a, a collection of uh, uh, different wines. Yeah? So then the noun becomes uncountable. So if you refer to beer as the, uh, the, uh, the stuff itself, um, the liquid, then it's uncountable. The glass is similar, can be uncountable or countable. It depends on whether we refer to a glass as a general thing, or a glass um, uh, as, as a glass that you can drink out of. In the former case, we say much or little glass. There is much glass in this building. Oh, there is little glass in this building. In my uh, kitchen, I have many glasses, or few glasses. And as you can see, when the noun is countable, we add, we, we can actually add es, which is not the case for the uncountable nouns. Car. Car is countable, we can count cars. We can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. So many or few cars. Stress is uncountable, much stress, little stress, we don't say stress is. Um, tip is countable, but help is uncountable. But isn't tip just like uh, advice? Yes, that's why I put it, put it in here. Um, you, we, we give a tip, we give some advice. Now, you can count the number of tips I give you. Um, but we don't say, you can, I, I count the advices or so, you can say the pieces of advice. But advice is an uncountable noun, tip is countable. Yeah. But when you refer to stress as clemton, is it countable? No, it's still uncountable. When stress is uh, the stress on the syllable, still uncountable. Yeah, yeah we don't say um, this, um, 
this word has two stresses. <coughs> no. No? The stress in this word is on uh, two different places. Yeah? It's primary and secondary stress. Yeah? So stress is always uncountable. Any other questions? So it's important to know what countable and uncountable nouns are because otherwise you don't understand the difference between much, many, little, and few. How do you remember when to use much and when to use many? Um, or when to use few and when to use little? Um, I always feel that m many money sounds funny. That rhymes. Many money sounds funny. Uh, let's remember that. Many money sounds funny. Um, and money, that's because money is an uncountable noun, so we can't count it, so we don't use many but much. We say much money. That's how I always re remembered it. Um, because many money doesn't work. Right, many is only for countable and not for uncountable. Same with little and few. We say few people and not little people because if you say little people, you mean people that are really small. Yeah? Um, please remember this because on the exam every year, people make mistakes um, with regards to little and few and much and many. Yeah? Okay, so far nouns. Um, let's look at the possessive. So we talked about nouns and plurals. Now let's look at the possessive forms of nouns, which is of course no reason to start a conversation. This is always funny when you when you start talking about something else, people start having a conversation, which I don't understand. Um, here's another exercise. Here are noun phrases. Can you decide whether the following phrases are correct or incorrect? And of course, we're talking about the possessive. So the possessive refers to possession. Who does it belong to? Um, Travis's friend. Is that correct? With an extra apostrophe. S. Yes. It is correct. The following is also correct. Yes, it is. Um, names. Names that end in S receive either apostrophe S or just an apostrophe. So we say Charles Dickens books or Charles Dickens series books. But only for names. Sorry? So they're both right. They're both both okay. Yeah. So Travis is friend and Travis friend. So sorry, can you yeah. say one more time? What's now the difference between them? The, the, there's no difference between them. Both are correct. So we can either say Travis is friend or Travis friend. If a, if a name ends in S, you can do both. It doesn't matter. No? This boy's toys is incorrect. Why? Well, boys is plural. Right? Two boys. So we don't say this boy's toys. We say these boys' toys. As the following example shows. Yeah. And if you want to say this boy. So yeah. Only one boy. This boy. So then what you do is you move the apostrophe before the S. So it's boy, apostrophe, oh. S. This boy's toys. Yeah? This boy's toys. If the apostrophe follows the S, then it's plural. If you, are, um, if you want to know more about this, it's a really uh, uh, nice, um, I think it's funny, nice, a funny book. I think, it's, I think we even have it in the library. Called um, what's it called? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Something like um, the Giant Kids Playgrounds. So I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up uh, during the break and show you. Um, it gives you uh, um, uh, examples examples like these 
uh, the boys' toys and these boys' toys and shows you what the consequences are if you use the apostrophe the wrong way. And they can be quite dramatic. This is from the author who wrote um, Eats, Shoots and Leaves. Do you know that book? This is about punctuation. Um, there's a panda that enters a, a cafe, enters a cafe and the panda eats, eats, shoots and leaves. <coughs> or the panda eats, shoots and leaves. Which means she orders, panda orders some shoots and some leaves and eats them. So, so uh, punctuation, where you put commas, can save lives. There's another one. Let's eat, let's eat, Grandma. Or let's eat, Grandma. Do you have the book? It's, I think it's in the library. Yeah. Eat, shoots, and leaves. Okay. Um, the sheep feet. No, incorrect, of course. Correct. It should be the sheep's feet. Why? Sheep is what we call an irregular noun. Um, sheep is singular and plural. We say one sheep, two sheep. We don't say two sheeps. Yeah? Which means um, the sheep's feet can either mean the feet of two sheep or the feet of one sheep. Joan's husband's tools is correct. <coughs> um, and this is Adam's and Eve's heavenly garden is incorrect. Why? Adam and Eve? Joan's husband is one, uh, refers to one person, right? So there's two possessives in this one. Joan's husband. Um, it's his tools. So, Joan's husband's tools. That's correct. Um, when there's two people mentioned and they both possess the same thing, we, we add one possessive S. Apostrophe S. So, Adam and Eve's. Not Adam's and Eve's. There's one exception to this rule before I answer your question. So, if the garden is mine and Eve, what do you say? This, say Timonies. No, like the word mine. If you want to use the word. Ah. I think you can even I think you can say Eve's in my garden. Eve's in my garden. Can you? Yeah, then you would probably say uh, something like my garden and Eve's garden. Yeah. Our garden. Yeah, you say our garden, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, in that context somebody someone would probably say you okay? Can I just finish my sentence? Just uh, um, so uh, in this context, in this context, someone probably ask you whose garden this is, and you'd say, "Oh, it's, uh, it belongs to uh, me and Eve." Yeah? There's one exception to this, which I'll explain after Miss Johnson has uh, asked you a question. No, she did not. Okay. Yes, I think you should buy her some. Buy more than this. That's true, right? You shouldn't say. You shouldn't say I'm sorry. If you're not sorry. <laughs> It's Adam's delight. Then maybe you should say apologies because you can't it. It's all on the camera. No, you should have made it worse than it is. Everything you say will, you, will be used against you. Um, okay, can I have your attention? I think I spoiled everything now. I think I'm terribly rude. Okay. Um, so we said this is Adam and Eve's garden. We, so, we don't say this is Adam's and Eve's garden. That's one exception to this rule. I said this garden belongs to them both. It's, a, it's the same garden. Suppose you want to compare Bach's music and Mozart's music. Excuse me if you're not a, a classical music fan. Um, 
you are forgiven. Then um, you, don't, you don't say Bach and Mozart's music because it's not the same music. The music is different. In that case, we say Bach's and Mozart's music are quite different. Yeah? Sorry? You might. Because they're the most interesting ones. Yeah? Any questions? <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's actually time for a break, and I can see some of you get a certain chalk all the time. But um, we don't need much longer. So I think if we skip the break and then uh, just continue, then it will be done earlier. Yeah? Yes. Okay, which of the following phrases are correct? I'll give you one minute to look at these phrases. <laughs> like that. <laughs> when you're teaching, you need to use a... Um, Try to avoid using uh, your voice all the time, so that's why I'm not like that. You can also do this. <laughs> right. Um, the pages of the book is correct. Yes. Yes. And the book's pages is incorrect. Why? Um, things and places, we don't use apostrophe S, but we use of as a noun. The pages of the book. So things and places, no apostrophe S. We don't say the book's pages. Okay. Yeah? The streets of London is correct, and London streets is also correct for, because for cities, countries, and organizations. So the BBC, uh, um, to mention that one again, so the BBC's uh, programs or the programs of the BBC, we can say the Netherlands, uh, the Netherlands, uh, well, the Netherlands uh, economics and the economics of the Netherlands, something like that. Um, for, with cities, countries, and organisations, we can do both. It's important to remember this because this is an exam question. <laughs> and then suddenly people start making notes. Isn't that interesting? Okay, everything is an exam question. Um, the mother of Carrie or Carrie's mother? The first one's incorrect. The second one's correct. Why? With people, we don't use of plus now. So we don't say the mother of Carrie. We, don't, we say Carrie's mother. You have a question. Yeah, but don't you, can't you say that's the mother of Carrie? No, that's Carrie's mother. Ah. Are there exceptions? Because you say usually. Um, yes, there are exceptions. Say, um, you can say this is this man's book. But if you want to say this is the, uh, the if you want to say this man lives uh, uh, in the biggest house in our street, then it sounds really awkward if you say, this is the man who lives in the biggest house in our street's book. Then we'd say, this is the book of the man who lives in the biggest house in the street. Well. Yes. So could you, for instance, say the duty of the president? Sorry? Could you, for instance, say the duty of the president? Yes, you can. Good question from Tim. Because it says we don't usually use noun for um, offers noun for people. Of course, there are exceptions to this. If, if, if uh, I said if the phrase is really long, then we use of. But also, if this is um, uh, an official person, like the queen or the president, or someone who's uh, an important person in history. Yeah. So we can say the paintings of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. 
Any other questions? Okay. Okay, there's one more exercise. This is a review, and then we're done. Again, one minute to do this. There's an excellent French restaurant Okay. Time's up. Um, most, most museums encourage families to visit them. Of course, this is families with IES because the spelling rules stipulate that. Um, the Y should change to an I and then add ES. Is my classroom management so bad that you even start throwing copies? Just wish them good luck. Maybe just go and stand in the corner. Um, did you visit any interesting museums in Asia? Of course, this should be. Asia with the capital letter, of course. Uh, sorry. The tourist office gave me lots of advice. Really, was it, were they useful? Was it useful because <coughs> advice is a singular, uncountable noun? Unless, in this one, if were they remains, uh, refers to the people who gave the advice, of course. Were they useful? There's an excellent French restaurant at the top of the road, or the road's top. The former one, the top of the road, <coughs> this is a thing, or a place. The things and places we use are as now. Yeah? Which means... Can we write down the... <laughs> We want to see the next homework. Don't forget to copy it for after the um, holidays, folks. Yes. Uh, enjoy your holidays. <laughs> I'll go back to the previous slide. Here's the homework. <laughs> What was the fourth rule? Uh, now, the off is down for things that are missing. Off is down. Sorry.